Hi, I'm Lori Livingstone, partner in Denton's Litigation and Dispute Resolution Group based in Calgary. I'm Samantha Chang, a senior associate in the Litigation and Dispute Resolution Group in Denton's Vancouver office. In our recent report, The Shifting Tides of Cross-Border M&A, Denton's, together with our research provider, Merger Market, surveyed 150 senior executives involved in cross-border and global M&A to see how these executives view the market. Respondents were asked which forms of litigation and or disputes their organization found itself in post-closing over the past 24 months. And respondents in Canada, the US and elsewhere in the world reported that the most common type of disputes concern confidentiality breaches. 58% of respondents based outside North America report having been involved in a dispute relating to a breach of confidentiality in the past 24 months. And just under half or 45% of their US and Canada-based peers report the same. In the context of M&A transactions, parties often share confidential information throughout the course of the deal. Non-disclosure agreements are used to protect the confidentiality of the disclosing party's confidential information and most contain a remedies provision which provides the disclosing party with the opportunity to obtain specific performance, injunctive and other equitable relief in addition to other available legal remedies in the event that the recipient breaches its obligations under the NDA. The protection of confidential information is important because a breach of confidence where no NDA has been executed or a breach of confidentiality covenant where an NDA has been executed could result in potentially serious consequences for the injured party, for which monetary damages are insufficient or difficult to quantify, or both. NDAs safeguard the sharing of confidential information released to prospective purchasers during the bid process, and an airtight agreement is your best bet to protecting against potential disputes related to breaches of confidentiality. For North American survey respondents, disputes related to purchase price adjustments, or PPAs, are also common, cited by 42%. PPA disputes often arise because of ambiguous price adjustment clauses, one party thinking the other has acted in bad faith, and or disagreements over accounting standards in the case of cross-border M&A transactions. Because PPAs are one of the most common dispute types in private M&A transactions, it's important that parties incorporate some form of dispute resolution process to address PPA issues. You want to make sure serious consideration is given to the types of disputes that may arise out of any transaction and to drafting dispute resolution clauses that are appropriate for the kinds of disputes you anticipate, as well as the value of those disputes, the speed at which you want them resolved, and the costs you're willing to incur to resolve them. Having a commercial litigator as part of your deal team is critical to getting dispute resolution clauses right. An experienced commercial litigator brings expertise on how to draft dispute resolution clauses that match your needs. In some cases, you may want a specific dispute resolution clause that applies just to resolving PPA disputes and then a more general clause that applies to other disputes. Crafting a specific clause that applies just to PPA disputes can allow you to move quickly and cost effectively by, for example, crafting a process where a single independent expert will make a binding determination within a specific time frame. A commercial litigator can walk you through all the options available and explain the risks and benefits of each. That will allow you to make a truly informed decision that will position you for the most effective, timely, and cost-efficient resolution of any dispute that arises. Other common dispute types cited by our survey respondents include breaches of representations and warranties insurance, payment terms, governing law, indemnity and disputes related to tax governance. To learn more about protective measures that mitigate against unwanted deal outcomes and what to do when disputes arise, click below to read our report or contact a member of our litigation team to discuss how we can help you protect your interests.